Hey guys, welcome back. So this would be a continuation to the previous video. I'll be explaining the three left out cyberware upgrades in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale right now. So I already explained you how to get the cyber upgrades in Battle Royale and explain one of them, which is the smart shotgun in my previous video. If you want, you can go and check that out. In this video, I'll explain the rest of the three cybernetic upgrades. So firstly, the Fist of Iron. So what this does is it literally gives you a gauntlet just like you would expect in the Avengers film. And what you can do is you can just go closer to your opposition and you can punch the opposition each punch would give the opposition 45 damage as soon as you use the ability you cannot use your weapons at all so there is no way using your weapons once you use the ability but unlike the smart shorty one you can actually use your class while using this also as soon as you activate this ability there is a unique button to the right hand side with a running symbol so what this basically gives you is a boost so you can use it three times and it keeps on getting added up immediately till the time span when you're using abilities so this can be really helpful in closing in the distance versus your opponent and the most important trick is you can actually jump and then use the iron fish which gives you this unique effect of jumping and putting the iron fish down and anyone across the radius would get the damage and also that's the highest way of giving damage to the opposition when you usually use the fish directly it does like 45 damage in each punch but when you use it along with the jump maneuver you would get more damage all the way up to 70 is what i saw is possible so for performing this it's very easy all you need to do is just press the jump button and then just hold the fire button and that's when it's really useful also a small added detail to it so when you actually crack your opponent you can see a small red marker on his head and that's when you know the opposition is one shot again i'm very early in the rank so i'm usually facing bots in my lobby so it's easy to get bot kills but trust me versus an actual opponent this is not that useful which i think makes sense or else it would have made it very powerful the next one is the virtual vision one now this one is also one of my favorites and probably the one that i'll be using the most what this does is it basically gives you a virtual vision which means that you can see your opponents even through the walls now the trick to this is firstly when you turn on virtual vision you won't be immediately be able to see enemies through the walls also the enemies would appear in a specific red hologram kind of a thing so that you know this is your enemy but to see the enemies through the walls what you need to do is at least look at that enemy once once you get a vision of the enemy and then you try and take the third person view then you can see the enemies through the walls as well also one of the cool features is when you're actually trying to shoot the enemy there is a small health indicator an armor indicator and a distance indicator shown right on top of the enemy's head so you have an idea of how much your enemy is damaged so that's really cool about this one and the overall time span for which this lasts is 30 30 second which i believe is still a lot when it comes to battle royale now the last one is called the b scout now this one is very tough to use i'll be honest probably the toughest among all three but it can be very very rewarding so what basically b scout does is first of all you need to use the b scout and then you will get two specific buttons in the center of the b scout one is the scan and the second one is called the hack vision which basically appears only when there is a person who scanned so the hack vision would only appear if there is a person in your vicinity and you already scanned that person but when you click the hack vision there is a small animation which occurs once that's done you can see yourself through the enemy's perspective and as you see that there is a small upload virus kind of an animation which goes down and what this does is basically kind of disables or shocks the enemy which is somewhat similar to the trap master i would assume so i have never been in the receiving end of this so i have no idea about it but i think it seems pretty lethal and it, as soon as you hack vision as soon as the virus is uploaded you can see the enemy through the walls and one of the coolest things is once you have hacked that person you can see the enemy's exact location for like 30 seconds so even if the enemy is not close to you if the enemy is far away from you and then you're able to scan and then hack the vision you can see the enemy through a long distance as well and then probably take a vehicle or something close in the distance and get the frag on your enemy so i think it's very tricky to understand so a lot of things goes into this first of all you need to use the scout you need to scan you need to hack vision and then you get into enemy's perspective and then finally you can track enemy's exact location it's very risky as well but also at the same time it's very rewarding so that's it guys these were the three left out cyberware updates that i wanted to explain uh, if you have any doubts or any questions do mention that in the comment section if there's something that i missed out do mention that in the comment section i'll try that thing again and try to explain that specific thing to you thank you so much for watching this video all the way till the end and i'll see you in the next one